Hey everybody, John C. Denise Richards and the lovely Lulu. Welcome back to another All Things Home. We're so glad you're with us today. It's a great day to make it a great day. Did you know that? It's a beautiful day to make it a great day. And you want to know why? Tell me. Because Lulu's in her Halloween costume. Lulu. So here we are filming just a few days before Halloween. And God bless you. God bless you. Uh, and we are going to have a wonderful Halloween this year, October 31st, coming up here on, I think it's a Tuesday? It is, and you know what else it is on Tuesday? What? My sister's birthday, my sweet sis Donna. Happy birthday on Tuesday. I'm coming to take you to lunch. Does she know that? Yes, or is she this does. When she's it's find planned. Out? We're very excited. So well, good. Yeah, happy Internet. birthday, Donna. Donna, happy yeah. birthday, Donna. We're so glad you just turned 39. Yeah. Happy birthday to you yeah. on Halloween. What a great day to have a birthday. It and is a great day. Uh, what else do we have going on? It's a national holidays. We got a couple we typically celebrate. One, of course, is Donna's birthday. And what other national holidays do we have? Well, t- today is actually October 27th. And 27th. So today you. we have National Champagne Day. Ooh, champagne. champagne Sounds day. fancy. Do you drink it? like this i was drinking it like I, it's got a big bottle drinking, I don't know, John. you know what else it is though just keeping in you know same theme it's american beer day is it really it's the alcohol day it is the alcohol day and do you know why it's probably the alcohol day because it's also <laughs> national cranky neighbor day and you need a so little drink when you got a cranky neighbor. you might that way you could tune them out a little bit anyway <laughs> yeah isn't that well, fun a, that is a little bit of fun a little bit too much fun maybe if you know what i'm talking about if you have too hey. much <laughs> Drink responsibly. That's what they say. Right. I'm not sure how that works. But anyways, hey, uh, welcome back to All Things Home. So our last episode, which was really good, we actually talked about 7% mortgage rates, and we're hovering a little bit above that right now in between, what, 7 8% typically. But you... Yeah. You can do better in different ways, and we talked about that in last week's video. Yes, we did. Um, rates are up there, but we also have to get a little perspective here in where we are in terms of the historical rates. So if you want more information on that, because it's really important to know right now, check out last week's episode. Check it out. We had a nice uh, actually graph picture that showed historical rates that Denise had put together for us, showing what they've been over the last, I think it was like 20-something, 30 years or yeah. something like that. And so historically, where are the rates and why not to freak out where because of where we are right now? Right. Less words, more pictures for some of those that really rely on the pictures and the illustrations last week's episode. This guy. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for mentioning that. Mm. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're actually crushing it right now. We have over 1,000 subs. So let's keep that going. We appreciate you guys for being on and watching this. Uh, This week's episode is going to be really good. I was listening to a gentleman yesterday from Keeping Current Matters, uh, an analyst, which can get a little dry at times. Let's be honest, okay? Analysts can be a little dry. The old statistics. The old statistics. But we're going to (laughs) take it and liven it up a little bit today because one of the things I took away from that article was something you talked about with Fannie Mae and something that you can do now that or that's getting implemented. Fannie Mae is now accepting 5% down, a down payment when you're going to purchase a home. They're accepting now 5% down instead of what it used to be, 15 to 25%. Mm-hmm. You're going to talk more about this. Yeah. It's going to be the Denise show because yeah. it's about financing. So instead <laughs> of 15 to 25, now you can put down 5% down on a multifamily home that you're going to live in or occupy anything from a two unit, three unit, and also a four unit home. That's right. Those are still considered residential properties. And although Fannie Mae has always financed them and allowed you to do a conventional loan on them, you needed a 15% down payment, right? I have a client right now. He's starting his real estate portfolio by purchasing a duplex. That's right? cool. It's easier to qualify for because you can use that potential rent on the other side or the other units. It is a great way to start building that personal financial wealth through home ownership. So I didn't think about that, but you're right. If you Let's just talk a little bit about the numbers okay. there. Let's say you're buying a duplex like he is. Mm-hmm. Can you give us a ballpark what he's paying for that? Do you remember off the top of your head? Uh, 400, 500? Yeah, let's say 500,000 500 for, for a duplex. For a duplex, yep. And each side is going to, you know, the other side is going to bring him about $2,500 a month in rent. There you go. So if he's paying in mortgage, let's say he's paying maybe 3500 a month for mm-hmm. his mortgage with all the insurance and everything else, you know, property That's taxes fair. and all that stuff, 3500 and he's getting 2500 in rent paid for, his rent to live on the other half of it, which is probably at least a two bedroom, maybe a three bedroom duplex on just that one side, his part of the family, $1,000 a month maybe is what he's paying to live. You can't live around here for You are so good at math, John. Oh my goodness. Just don't ask a me thousand. to spell. Yeah, don't spell a thousand. Don't Anywho, a thousand. you are correct. And that is how you get started by building that, that real estate portfolio. And now that Fannie Mae has reduced that down payment, it's amazing. 
Let's um, talk about that then. So before, if he was buying $500,000 duplex, let's go back to the same scenario, he was having to put 15% down, at least 15%. So that would be $75,000, I'm good at math, yes. uh, that he would have to put down. But now with this new option that he's gonna have through Fannie Mae, which you can help with, yes, he's can. not gonna have to put down 75,000 nope. to make that purchase. He can do it for 25,000 $25, down. Big difference, huge, big huge difference. Huge difference. And there are builders out there that are dying to build these for you folks. Yes, right. builders I mean, love building them. There, they, there's those that are already existing, but then there's so many new ones that are, that are being built right now. And construction financing is on fire right now. VA, Fannie Mae, it's, uh, yeah, this is the way to build that real estate portfolio, John. I'm so glad you brought this topic up. I am too. Um, so it's a great thing. The only caveat though, briefly mentioned from what I could see with this, and you talked with Denise and about this, you need to occupy one of the units. Mm -hmm. So owner occupied. So if you buy a fourplex, you need to occupy one of those units and then rent out the other two or three. Mm -hmm. That's the way to do it. And That's then the you move on. And then eventually you do this enough times and you don't need a mortgage anymore. And you're a billionaire. Oh. Um, all right, good article. <laughs> Thank you for helping out with that. If you have more questions, shoot Denise a quick email, text, phone call. Instagram, all of her fancy little places <laughs> where she is located. Reach out to her. She'll be glad to help you. I'm not that fancy. Market news. I didn't write anything in market news today because the market is pretty much the same, I guess, for us anyways down here. Not much has changed with our market. This is normally our slower time of the year anyways. We have people who are just got back into school here last month, and then we have people who are thinking about Thanksgiving. This is normally like that dip in the trough mm -hmm. for us in real estate? I think it's like the accidental little baby vacation for us in this industry. It is. It because is. we do get a little bit of time around the holidays to, to kind of slow down, which is great. It is great. Now, I'll also say this. It's interesting, even though our numbers are very similar to what they were last year for August, September, October, uh, in regards to what we usually do in that dip, I'm curious to see if we come out of that dip like we have in the last few years. We'll see if that happens because with interest rates now in the seven half to 8% range, I don't know, but we'll see. We'll keep you posted. Yeah. Keep watching the video for the market news. Yeah. We'll tell you every week what the market's doing in regards to us here in sunny Southwest Florida. I want to connect before we wrap up today because this is such an awesome video. I want to connect them with Carla. Now we met Carla a few weeks ago and she is a dynamic go-getter, very sweet gal here in Southwest Florida. Now her business though, did you get a chance to talk with Carla about what she does? Not as much as I want to. Then you should. But I do understand that she is a personal assistant. She is a personal assistant and she's amazing at what she does. Now I call it like a gig worker, but personal assistance is so much more. It's beautiful. very broad though, and I happen to have heard some of her stories of the things that she does, and I was I was surprised and I told her, I said, tell the folks how you're helping them because people don't know what they don't know, right? They don't know what they don't know. They don't know what they don't know. And they may need you and not even realize it unless they can see some of those examples. So we need to have her on the show. That's funny you just said that because I told her the same thing after a meeting recently. I said, listen, you got to tell stories about what you're doing for other people because then people can say, hey, I need that help with my business or my personal life. I need you to help me get organized or be that person who can help me send out my emails or help me do these types of things. That's what Carla does. She helps you with your business and some personal life stuff get things in a way where you she can help you get them done and she does a lot so it's hard to just say one thing that's right personal assistant is not just for the lifestyles of the rich and famous yes it's and whether you need her for an hour a week or you know 10 hours a week 20 hours i don't know how busy she's pretty busy but <laughs> she can help you uh yeah. get things done so reach out to carla i put her phone <laughs> number on the board here it's 239-877-5470 reach out to carla we'll put her contact information also below reach out to her tell her john and denise center we love right. to we love to connect you with Carla. She's an awesome person. Anything else you want to say about this episode? Well, it was my favorite one so far. I too. I loved it. Passed. Happy Halloween to everyone. Happy Have Halloween. a great, safe Halloween. Enjoy your candy, but make sure you brush and floss after you eat it. <laughs> Bye for now. Good advice. Bye.